Hello, I'm Eden and today I'm going to show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. So, um, firstly a quick overview of Rubik's Cube notation. This is written in Rubik's Cube notation as R, because this is the R right face, and it's R because I'm twisting it one time clockwise. This is R prime, written as R dash, or apostrophe. Um, because I'm twisting it anti-clockwise. And then this is R2. So this is the right R, left, front, back, up, down. So this is U, this is U prime, this is D prime, this is D. And that's all you need to know. Let's get into solving the Rubik's Cube. Step one. Make the white cross. Okay, so the first step for solving the Rubik's Cube is you have to make the white cross. So you start by putting white on top. If you look, um, I just scrambled this cube randomly. Say I've got this piece here. Um, it's currently got white on the bottom. I want to move it up into the top so that I can align it with the white cross. So I can put it on the right side and the bottom and I can just do R2. and that puts it into the cross. So say, if I want to put it in the right place, this is the red and white edge. So I want to put that underneath the red center and then do R2, then this piece is now solved relative to the centers. Um, okay, let me do another example. If I've got, say, um, say I've got this piece here, I want to move it into the white cross to make, I want to move it into the white cross so I'll put it in the bottom. But now you can see this piece doesn't actually line up with the orange center. So here, what we can do is we can put it into the top and then to flip it, we can do R prime, U, F prime, U prime. And that flips the edge. So now it's now it's solved. It's flipped some other edges, so don't use that for flipping any edges, but um, it's, it's now solved in the cross. Um, Let's do this one now. So I've put in the bottom layer. It's already underneath green. Um, however, it doesn't actually match with green. So I'm going to put it up. R prime, U, F prime, U prime. Here, this piece, um, I mean, you can probably see how it goes in, but if you can't, then I'm gonna put it in the bottom. It now lines up with blue, so I can put it straight in with R2. And that's the white cross done. Step two, solve the white corners. So if you've done your white cross, now you can see all the pieces in the correct places, then we can move on to doing the corners of the first layer. So the way we're going to do that is, um, say I've got this corner, it's already in the bottom layer. So you want all your corners in the bottom layer. I suggest we, and we're going to start with this one. So um, we need to get it up into this spot. So we put it underneath, which I've just done put it underneath where it needs to go, and then we're going to do an algorithm, we're going to repeat it however many times we need to repeat it. So the algorithm is R prime, D prime, R, D. And then we keep doing that algorithm until there. That solved this piece. Um, this piece is now in the correct place. Uh, let's do another one. So we want to take this piece out of this slot. So we can put any other piece into that slot. Say if I want to put this one in, I can put it in like that. Um, that's now in there, and this has been taken out. So now we can put it underneath where it needs to go. R prime, D prime, R D. Um, and then we can keep doing that. There you go, that's in. Next one, we can do this one. R prime, D prime, R D. in and then this one and that solves the whole first layer. Step 3. Solve the middle layer edges. Okay so step 3 to solving the Rubik's Cube is you need to you need to solve these four edges. So these are the edges of the middle layer. 
they're above the corners that you've just solved. So, um, there are two algorithms for this step. They're both eight moves long. So let's do this edge. So this edge needs to go from, so you, first you move it so that it matches with the center. That's important. Um, then this edge needs to go into there. So it's moving down to the left. So if it's moving to the left, we'll do this algorithm. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. Okay, um, I'll do the algorithm again. So see, here we've got this one, it matches here, and it needs to move down to the left. So we'll do the same algorithm. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. Okay, now the other algorithm you to learn is literally the same one on the right hand side. The same one mirrored. So we need to move this one down to the right. We'll do U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. Okay, now this is a special case. There is a specific algorithm to flip edges, but the easier way of doing it is to put this edge into here, which will take this one out. So if I do the algorithm to put it in, U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. Now that has been taken out, it's now there. So we can now put this in, the algorithm moving it to the right will be U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And you solve the middle layer. Step four, solve the yellow cross. Okay, so now we're going to solve the yellow cross. So before, how we, so before we solved the white cross, we had to align the white pieces. Here, it doesn't matter yet. So there are three, there are four different situations of what you could find yourself in when you have, when you've done um, the middle layer and you're going to do the yellow cross. So um, the first one is when the cross pieces are in like an L shape. The second one is if they're in a bar. The third one is when you've got your cross already done. And the fourth one is when you haven't got any of your cross pieces done. So they're all different colors. They're apart from the other. If you've got an L shape, you need to move it so that the unsolved edges, the edges that are wrong, are in the front and the right. And then you'll do F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. If your edges are in a bar, then you move it so that the bar is horizontal, like this. And then you do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. You may have noticed this is just the other one backwards. Um, but if it doesn't help you, if that doesn't help to remember it, then what you can remember is that it's normal, 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 then prime, prime, prime for both of them. And then if you've got this case where none of the edges are correct, you've just got the center and maybe some corners, then you do one of them. Say I want to do F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. Then, then you, you'll get one of the other cases and you just do that one. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Step five, get all the yellow on top. So what we need to do now is we need to go from having your yellow cross done to having a full yellow face. Um, so basically like that, or any, any position of these pieces, as long as you've got a full yellow face on the top. So what we're going to be using is this algorithm, which solves this case. So it goes R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. And the algorithm is called soon. It can be done very fast. So yeah, um, and that's the algorithm I'm going to be using. So there are three different possibilities of what you could have once we've done the yellow cross. 
So the first possibility is having no corners correctly done. So you've just got the yellow cross. None of these are yellow. Um, and if you get that, what we're going to do is we're going to get one of these corners that has yellow on it and we're going to put it on the left on the side like that and then we're going to do the algorithm r u r prime u r u 2 r prime okay and then we'll get to another one of these cases so the second type of case is if you've got one corner already done correctly and in that case, you put it in the bottom left, and you do R U R prime U R U two R prime. Now the third case is if you've got two corners correct, so these two are correct and these two aren't, or you might have these two correct and these two aren't. So what you do is you get a, a corner with yellow on it, and you put it so that it's on the left side but facing you. And then you do R U R prime U R U two R prime, and then you've got this case again. So you put it in the bottom left. R U R prime U R U two R prime. This case, put it in the bottom left. R U R prime U R U two R prime, and that solves the top. Step six: solve the last layer corners. We're now going to solve all of the corners. So we want to get from here to a position like, like that. So we've now solved all the corners. So we can go from any position here to having solved all the corners. So if you have two stickers that are already solved, so here, these two are correct, and these two corners, then they need to swap. So we can do this algorithm, R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2, U prime. And that solves all the corners. If you've got a case like this though, where no matter how you do it, you can never get two corner stickers to be correct, then that means you've got a diagonal swap of corners. So here I can get these two to be correct, but they're opposite, they're not next to each other. So these two which are diagonal. So we can just do that algorithm. Doesn't matter which angle you do it from. And you'll get a case that has two correct. You put them in the back and you do the algorithm. And that solves it. Step seven, solve the last layer edges. Okay, step seven, we're going to solve all of the edges um, and then that will mean we'll solve the whole cube. So if we look carefully at these edges, this one is going to go to there, this one is going to go to there, and this one is going to go to there. So this is a cycle of three edges going clockwise. If you've got a solved face, here, you want to put it at the back and then you will have the other three edges cycling either clockwise like this or anti-clockwise like this. This one will go there to there to there. So the way to do it is you start, so th these ones are going clockwise, you start with F2 and then whichever way you want the edges to cycle you do a U move that way. So here they want to go clockwise, so we'll do U, because that's moving it clockwise. L, R prime, F2, L prime, R. The same U move that you did before, so in this case it was a U, could be a U prime, and then F2. So just to show for this case, we've got them going anti-clockwise, F2, we want to go anti-clockwise, so we'll do U prime, L, R prime, F2, L prime, R, U prime. Remember, because we're going the same way. And then F2. Um, there is one exception to step... That, well, there are two exceptions, but I mean, they, they both use the same principle. So if you've got 
no correct edges. So you can, th there are no complete faces apart from white and yellow, of course. Um, then all you have to do is do one of the algorithms, and then you'll you'll end up with a face. So you put it at the back and you do the algorithm. So if you follow the steps correctly, you've solved the whole cube. If you haven't solved the whole cube, then you've probably made a mistake. If you think you've made a mistake, then watch this video again. And if you have any friends who want to learn a solve Rubik's Cube, share this video with them. Um, please subscribe. Yeah, thanks. Bye.